Everyone is freaking out right now about Season 11. We wanted new content, but Rare said, eh, best I can do is submarines. That's right, you can now dive your ship to teleport without sailing. But many are now asking, is this even still Sea of Thieves? I know it's easy to hop on the hate bandwagon, but let me convince you why Season 11 will actually be good. But more importantly, I'll explain why Season 11 might be preparing the game for a PlayStation release in something much bigger in Season 12. First of all, we have breaking news. Rare just officially announced that the Fleet of Fortune world event is getting added. It's going to modify the Skeleton Fleet similar to how the Fort of Fortune modified the normal Skull Fort, and the Chest of Fortune is going to live in this world event now. I think this change alone is going to revive the open world after the underwhelming, boring Skull of Siren song. This Fleet of Fortune is a simple yet brilliant addition from Rare. But the next thing we need to address is what everyone is talking about. Diving. Season 11 is not going to kill the open world. I know it might be counterintuitive, but a new dive mechanic is actually going to be way better for PvP. There's going to be less ships moving in the server, but that doesn't mean there's going to be less ships to fight on the server. You're just going to see more of them parked at islands now. If you're someone who only plays open world to rob people, then wouldn't this update be a dream come true? More easy targets? More loot to steal? You're going to see way more people park doing voyages, and park doing world events which means it's going to be way easier to surprise and rob other crews. The main change you'll notice this season is that the average ship will have way more loot on board. That's why I'm actually excited for this update as a player who enjoys stealing. But why are so many other players freaking out right now? Well, I think it's because there's a lot of details that people don't fully understand yet. For example, people think that noobs will be able to dive under the waves and escape when you chase them. But this is false. Enemy players and PvE threats will stop you from diving just like an hourglass. This should stop the mechanic from being abused. It's also important to note that if you dive with loot on board, you lose everything. It all floats up to the surface. And another very important detail is that you cannot dive to a world event that someone is already doing. Rare really thought of every possible way that this dive mechanic could be abused, and they took steps to make sure that it's fully balanced. Despite what people are saying, diving will not fundamentally change the game we know. I don't think a lot of players realize this when they talk about open world being ruined in Season 11. It's not ruined. This dive feature will be balanced enough to not interfere with the current open world. The main thing that is actually ruining open world right now is the fact that there's only 5 crews per server instead of 6. If anything is making the servers feel more dead, it's this. I should also point out that a crew will only use this dive mechanic once per play session, because they lose their loot when they dive. People are acting as if sailing will be obsolete now, when that's not the case at all. You can really just dive once per play session, and then you'll need to sail normally to collect and sell loot after that. Yet I keep seeing people hysterical in the comments acting as if no one will be sailing anymore, but the truth is that the only players who will notice a massive change this season are the ones who only have a short amount of time to play the game. This happens to be the specific group that Rare was trying to target with this update, and I need to applaud Rare for actually balancing the dive mechanic. I was super pissed when I saw the season 11 trailer until I realized that the open world is not ruined. There's just mass hysteria right now from people who don't fully understand how diving will work. But this still leaves the elephant in the room, which is, where's the new content? How can such a big studio add so little to the game each season? And why are they still just doing these lame foundational updates that barely change anything this far into the game's life cycle? Doesn't it seem ironic how they're losing most of their player base right now and promising major updates down the road, but there's not going to be a player base later down the road to enjoy it? Well, without understanding what they have planned for Season 12, their strategy for Seasons 9-11 to 11 feel quite counterintuitive to us. Why lose your current player base? now to make boring improvements to the base gameplay that no one will be left to play later on? Why cater to new players in a game that released 5 years ago? Rare's decision making is stupid, right? Unless all of Rare's decisions for the past year have been preparing the game for a new PlayStation release. There's credible rumors that Sea of Thieves is coming to PlayStation and even Switch. If this is true, then everything the developers have done for the past year would make so much more sense. The catering to new players suddenly makes so much more sense. 
Most of the community has been mad at Rare for the past three updates in a row. For the past year, we've all been asking, why are they making boring foundational improvements to a game that is dying? Is Rare not concerned about their shrinking player base? Well, what if Sea of Thieves is about to release on PlayStation and Switch and double their current active player base overnight? I don't think they're concerned about their game dying, and I don't think they're nervous about releasing three boring seasons in a row. I think Rare is looking forward to the future. Remember that this game has a proposed 10 year life cycle. 10 years of content updates and we are only halfway through. All the community is mad right now and declaring the game dead, but from Rare's perspective, the game might be just beginning. If all the rumors are true, then it makes sense that Rare is saving their biggest content updates for later on. Why make the massive content updates now, when they could wait until the player base gets a massive boost first? At first I was disappointed in Season 11, and I was believing all the negative hype. Sometimes this community feels like an angry mob, but we have to remember that there's stuff happening behind the scenes that we can't see. There's stuff happening behind the scenes that even the insiders can't see. I'm not a Sea of Thieves insider, but a ton of insiders keep leaving comments on my channel saying to just wait for Season 12. They can't break their non-disclosure agreements, but they keep very clearly hinting that Season 12 is going to be huge. It's going to add major PvP changes like new guns and throwables and cursed balls. Even if the rumors of a PlayStation release are false, Season 12 is still going to be a game changer. But what are we supposed to do in Season 11? We be patient. Let's remember that Sea of Thieves is not dead. It's more like it's sleeping, and it wakes up in Season 12. We're about to see major PvP changes, and we're gonna see the player base skyrocket. And let's not forget we have the Fleet of Fortune. I know that's enough to keep me entertained while I wait for Season 12. All I can do right now is be patient, but I am optimistic for the future of Sea of Thieves. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.